Hey guys, what's up? Hope you're doing great. Nakash on the back with another excited video tutorial. So before a few days ago, I uploaded a video about creating a uh, trine inside this Anma 40 with using Terraform 40. Today I'm gonna show you how you can create a same thing inside this Anma 40 like this one or this one without choosing any plugin and it's 100% procedural so you can change whenever you want so you can change the amounts or you can get any shape you want so let's take a look at a scene file here so let me show you so i use a displacer for creating these all kind of trine so simple noise and you can change whenever you want so as you can see here so it's really procedural and next one i also make uh this one this is uh i try to achieve the volcano shape so this is also really simple so if you go inside so you can change the height you can change whatever you want so size and let's start how we can do that so just create a new project file so we close this one so we don't add that create a new project file and simple add a plane change with segment from 10 to 500 for now later on we add more segment for give them uh, higher resolution so now add a displacer so just add a displacer under your plane so now here we go just add a layer shader so so first we start with volcano so let's create a volcano you can do whatever you want so we just simply add a gradient so as you can see here nothing happened open your gradient so change it to from uh, 2d u to circle so as you can see here but we need to invert it so now just take this dot and take it up next thing what we do here like that so that's a little big okay now for hole like we need to create hole here so it's not a hundred percent but i give you an example so how you can do that as you can see here so it's look like some kind of wall can i think so like that now we need to add a noise uh, for our volcano and for our plane so next thing go back in layer and add another shader called noise shader just rename it as a volcano well sorry for that volcano noise so open it and change this noise from uh, noise to wavy turbulence so as you can see here you see nothing so what we can do here just change the global scale from 100 to 1500 so now you get really cool looking things so that's great but you didn't s uh, you see here our gradient is oh you can't see your gradient because we need to change this let me show you what i mean a little bit do a little changing and go back in our layer field and change this from normal to overlay so as you can see here now you only get this on your volcano part so we play with this a little bit or 500 okay that's is enough for me we need to play with some changings to give it more random look and maybe 300 oh, that's too much change 600 let's see 600 for that you need to play with it so you can get more handy with that so okay so that's look enough for me uh, let's go back in our gradient and add a little turbulence for give them more random look 
there we go that's look more natural next thing we need to add one more uh, noise here so we just go and shader and add a noise so we just simply change it from noise to stopple and global scale from 500 or maybe 1000 so you can see more what's going on here so don't worry about these we fix it now go back in your layer and as you can see here you can change it now we just click add as a sub green so here we go so you get your trine ready this is a little bit more up and we just change the gradient a little bit higher so you have your wall kind of scene you can add something else you want you can do a lot of changings this is how simple is that okay so that's how you can create a wall kind of without choosing any plugin so we just change it to a hundred thousand and it's hundred percent procedural so you can do whatever kind of changing you want so for give them more high look so we just add more octave from 5 to 50 so same go with noise wall kind of noise to octave from 50 that gives you really great result so so next we try to create some kind of what we say different landscape the same method so we just duplicate that we just turn off this one now so after clearing the old shader so again create a uh, layer add a shader the simple noise so we're gonna try a uh, fire noise here change the global scale from 100 to 1000 change the octave octave so 22 okay it's default only 20 so that's good now go back and add another shader called uh, noise again so change the noise try from noise to stopple i think yeah that's looking okay now change it from global scale let's see how it's look like and change the octave okay I'll go back it's too high change it from normal to overlay I think that's good so after that we create a uh, another noise shader so we add a noise and uh, change the values uh, change noise drive from noise to stopple and change the global scale to 2000 and play around with these here okay change the brightness okay that's looking okay for me but it need to be under our mountain so we just change it from normal to screen and make it like so okay let's change it to a screen like that So 
that's looking great now we add another shader noise shader and change this noise to okay what we uber change global scale to 2000 i think that's looking great and play with some kind of and to give them a little bit more octaves and changes to a overlay i think and that's looking great but it's not look exactly what we want but that's looking great it's automatically as you can see here create a way i don't know for so you can create anything you want so now we add more segment let's see how it look like that's looking great make it a little bit strength is too high 100% Let's take a look. Ten. Okay. Fifty. So. Uh, ninety. Or we just stay with sixty. So that's how you can create a procedural environment inside this Anima 4D or procedural trine inside this Anima 4D without using any plugin. I hope you like this video. Uh, if you don't subscribe my channel, subscribe it now. For more video, comment below what you want. Thanks for watching.